welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I'm packing in my hospital bag, as well as the baby's hospital bag, essentials that you're gonna need in your diaper bag. I am a second time mom. I have an almost four year old, and now we are expecting baby number two. I'm currently 36 weeks, so I really wanted to make sure I had all of my hospital bags packed since at my last checkup, I was already one centimeter dilated, 50% effaced, and I've lost my mucus plug. So just to be extra prepared, I feel like this baby is probably gonna make an earlier arrival than my daughter did. She arrived exactly on her due date, but this one seems to wanna come out already. So I'm gonna share with you all of my items, all of my products. I try to keep things to a minimal since like I said, this is my second time around. I kind of have an idea of what worked, what didn't work, things that were just in excess. I feel like you never wanna overpack, especially with everything going on keeping bags to a minimal so you're not carrying so many things in there that you're gonna then bring home and contaminate into your house, the better. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed watching. Hit that little subscribe button for more home, lifestyle, and motherhood videos. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I'm just gonna start off with the baby's bag since that is the closest to me right now. And that is the least amount of items. For yourself, you're gonna want things for delivery as well as postpartum and then like you're going home. With this pandemic going around, we are trying to be in and out of the hospital as quickly as possible. Our doctor wants us to be there a max of 24 hours after I deliver. So not very much time, just a day. So we didn't need to go too crazy in bringing so many items for ourselves because of the times and what we're going through right now in the world. So for the baby bag here, I'm bringing my diaper bag. I feel like it's just easier. I did this with my daughter because I packed a couple of items that I'm not going to necessarily use like while I'm in the hospital. But that first week that you leave the hospital, you're usually supposed to go see your pediatrician. So it's easier when you need to pack for your first time going out of the house that you have a couple of the basics already in there. So this diaper bag right here is my Ryla pack. With my daughter, I didn't have a backpack diaper bag and I so, so regretted it. This one has straps right here. It is a vegan leather, gray color, and then it has the beautiful gold detail. You guys know I am obsessed with the color gold. So this is right up my alley. I feel like because we don't know the gender of this baby, I was trying to look for as gender neutral things as possible, but I also felt like the diaper bag is also for mom. So getting something that you love, a little bit of like a feminine touch with the gold detail I thought was really pretty. And then on the exterior of my diaper bag, I just have a pacifier holder, leopard print, because I'm obsessed with that. And then this little tassel um, keychain, which same thing. This one's kind of just for like aesthetic purposes, nothing that you really need. But this I have for my daughter as well in a different print, and it came so in handy. Our hospital, I already found out, does not supply pacifiers. So right inside this little slot, I'll just show you guys ours. So I'm just bringing a white one, same thing. Everything you see is gonna be gender neutral. I did this little Ryan and Rose pacifier clip and then one of these bibs pacifiers. I heard they're very, very popular. Babies seem to love them. My daughter never took a pacifier, so we'll see if this one does. Even though she didn't, this little pouch came really in handy because I used to store actually those little bags that you toss their diapers in when you go, let's say, to someone's house or you're like at the park or beach and you throw them in the garbage. So either way, you could put tons of little items that you want easy access here, even if your baby doesn't take a pacifier. I have not yet used this diaper bag, like I said, outside of the home yet. This is gonna be my first time. It was my first time packing it for the baby. But as of yet, I feel like everything just fits so compact. I love the quality of it. This bag, link down in the description bar for you guys. It also comes in black if gray's not your thing. And I'm gonna try and also get a coupon code to save you guys some money on it as well. So now moving on to the front pouch, what I have stored in here. This is basically like the mommy pouch, so you could keep anything that you would need. Because I'm gonna have my own bag at the hospital, I didn't really need to put much in here. The items that I stored in here were some of these breast pads, same thing if I'm going to be leaking in the hospital. With my daughter, my milk didn't come in until I wanna say like three days after I gave birth. So I feel like I'm probably not gonna need these since we're only gonna be in the hospital for a day. But just in case, they're good to have. And like I said, I could always use them for our first trip out to the pediatrician. And then what I did use last time right away that I felt was a huge difference was some nipple ointment. Place this on like your sensitive areas as soon as you get into like your recovery room. 
I feel like doing this right away before you have any like chapping or pain is going to be essential. I never had any issues with that bleeding or anything. And I really feel like because I just tackled it head on and this is safe for baby and it is an organic nipple balm. So even if you have some left over when your baby's gonna breastfeed and latch, it's totally safe for that. Going into the actual diaper bag here, we have the very first thing is actually this car seat cover. This is a five in one. So while I'm at the hospital, if I wanna use it as a breastfeeding cover, I can. You can use it on high chairs. You can use it as blankets. It has so many different purposes, which is great. Anything that's multifunctional is gonna be a bonus. And we're not allowed any visitors in the hospital. Same thing with the virus and everything going on. So I feel like I'm probably not gonna really need a nursing cover this time around, but just to have it, and because we're gonna need it when I'm going out of the hospital, I really wanna make sure the car seat is covered and the baby's protected as we're exiting the hospital and going into our car. So I just did this one here. It's like the black and white striped. Then I am going to be bringing just one swaddle. So I stuck with a white one, same thing, basic muslin. Aiden and Nice Swaddle. These I use for my daughter. They came really in handy. So if I want to do a cute little picture with the baby, this can be used for something like that. And then I am bringing this little bag here that I stored inside the diaper bag for items for photo ops. So same thing. I'm going to be using the swaddle and then I have like hats and bows. I want to share with you guys, so, so cute, these gold wooden signage. Anything that I mentioned in today's video, I will have down in the description bar. Some of these products were sent to me from like Etsy sellers. So if they were, I will also have a coupon code if they provided me with one down in the description bar for you guys as well. So I know she provided me a coupon code with 15% off your purchase. And these are wooden signs. So you can use them for tons of different pictures. She gave me these circular ones that I can add along with all of it that are really adorable. So some say my journey begins here. Oh baby, my first Christmas, watch me grow. So as the baby gets older, I'm someone that loves taking the monthly photos of them. And being able to have these just works out great and makes it easier as well as the numerical ones. So you're gonna put, let's say one month, one day, two weeks old, three weeks, four years old. So these will be able to be used throughout the life of the child. And in this little smaller pouch, I'm of course not going to bring all of these with me to the hospital, but I just wanted to show you. Um, I'm gonna keep them at home, but what I did decide to do in this smaller little pouch are the ones that I'm actually going to be using at the hospital. So I'll bring it just a little bit closer so you guys can see. So I'm bringing one of the circular ones that says, hello world. So this one right here, and these are super lightweight, so they're not gonna weigh anything down. And honestly, they make such a difference when taking your pictures and looking so cute. This one says, I'm new here. And then I'm taking, of course, the day sign, since the baby's only gonna be days old while we're in the hospital. But just so you can see, the quality is really great. You don't have to worry about these like breaking on you. And I just love the coloring too. If you put it on top of like any blanket or in the baby's crib, it'll really stand out. And then we have the numbers. So I'm bringing the number one, as well as the number two. So we could put like one day old, two days old. But I highly suggest you guys checking them out. They don't just do baby items. They do items for like weddings, baby showers, bridal showers. Also, I'm bringing this little sign here that I picked up. It just says, hello, I'm new here. And you would just fill it out. So once we have the baby's name, the weight, the height, date and time for like a little birth announcement, I can include this with those wooden letters and something really cute to be able to post on my Instagram to let you guys know that I had the baby. And then the last thing that I have inside my diaper bag that Ryla Pack also sells is these pouches. I am someone that loves to be organized, so you guys know things like this make me happy. Even though inside, even if you don't have it, there's insulated bottle pouches here for you to have. There's smaller compartments for you to put clothes, put little binkies in here. They're right, sorry about my camera just died, so back onto it. So inside of here, like I said, it has the zippers inside, all the different pouches, so you don't have to necessarily have inserted pouches like this as well on top of it. But for me, it just makes my life easier to have more storage than not. So going right into these pouches I have in the smallest one, I'm just bringing some hand sanitizer and a little bit of body lotion. Same thing, that's probably not gonna be items we're gonna need while we're in the hospital, but it's great for your first venture out after baby. 
Then in this smaller, then in the next pouch, which is this medium sized one, I packed a bow as well as a little hat. So we have two headbands, this one right here, this little white one, so it can go with absolutely anything. This used to be my daughter Mila's that I still had, so I'll bring that one. Then we have like this thinner type of bow for newborn size. It has this little hot pink in case the white one is too big. And then if it's a little boy, then we have this adorable little top knot hat in like this gray color. So I thought that was super cute. And then in the larger pouch is where I have the coming home outfit. So this one here, I'm just missing one of the pieces still, and that's the little hat. It didn't come yet in the mail, but I still wanted to show you guys the outfit. Like I said, if I happen to go into labor very soon and I don't have it, I can definitely use like that other gray hat, which is fine. But it's these adorable little pants. They have this little eucalyptus print. So it's white, this light color gray, so it can go for a boy or a girl. And then we have this little onesie that says hi. So these were on Etsy and the hat is going to match the pants. So it's the exact same print. They have tons of different prints. I was between this little set and the one that was like a rainbow. I thought they were so cute. This one is long sleeve because same thing, I'm giving birth in April. So it could be a little bit chilly still. So I wanted to be able to just have something that no fuss, no worry and then a pair of socks to go with that. So just some white socks. And this one is from the shop A Littlest Loves. She gave me actually a 20% off coupon for you guys. So same thing, I will have that down in the description bar for you to check out. So we'll have that right here. Be back, the last section here, you can see there's a zipper here. This is so you can store like a tablet or what I like to do is put this little changing pad here. And I just did two newborn diapers and some water wipes and a little sample size of like the Aquaphor. The hospital does not supply you with wipes. They will supply you with diapers, but just to have just in case some backups, I have that. And then the wipes, since they don't supply, I do like to bring those on my own because the meconium and stuff like that with just some water tends to not come off. So wipes are great to have. And I particularly like the water wipes when they're like just born because they tend to be very sensitive to their skin. These are 99.9% .9 water. And that is everything for the baby. I am going to be bringing my boppy. This I had with Mila and it was such a lifesaver. And believe it or not, I, it wasn't so much a lifesaver from breastfeeding, but it was a lifesaver going home. I had complications after that first delivery and I had almost a fourth degree tear. You guys, when I tell you I could not sit down, I physically could not sit because I would faint. I fainted twice postpartum and it was just not fun. I lost tons of blood. So this worked out going home. So I had this right at the bottom. Anytime I needed to like sit directly on my bum, I would sit on the boppy. And for my daughter, we had more like a feminine type of print. This print is on Etsy. They come with matching bedding. It's baby Milan, things sets, crib sheets, all that stuff if you really wanna make sure everything matches. But once again, I selected just like this eucalyptus print. And on the back, it has this super, super soft like minky print. And then the front side is just like I said, for pictures, it'll be really cute if I wanna take some pictures of the baby kind of propped in there with some signs. That'll be great, but this is an absolute must have you guys bring it whether you're going to use it for the baby to help when you're like trying to breastfeed or if you're going to be using it for yourself if you have a hard time like delivery and it's difficult to sit. This will be a lifesaver and now into my bag. <laughs> this is the same duffel that I brought when I delivered Mila. I decided to have the same exact one, use it. And for all of our bags, I am going to be putting them in addition inside plastic garbage bags, just because I don't wanna bring any germs home and anything like that. It's just kind of a really stressful time if you're pregnant, being in the hospital with all the germs and the virus and all of that, I just wanna be extra cautious. So it really doesn't matter the aesthetic of these bags because they're gonna go inside a plastic garbage bag and once we get home we can slip it off and all that good stuff so going right into my bag the very first thing that I have at the top inside one of these little like cube packing things if you guys travel chances are you can find these like on Amazon and things like that so inside this pouch it just says for delivery this way it's easy access for my husband to follow and know what I need 
And inside of this pouch, I just have my little list of basically things that I needed to pack in my hospital bag for myself, and then the other side for the baby, and I just went along like checking each thing as I did it. I like to just have this in here so that when I go home, I can make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Then the next thing I have are these adorable little socks that I actually found on Amazon that I put on my baby registry. And one says girl with a bunch of question marks in pink. And then the other one says boy with a bunch of question marks in blue. And they're no slip socks, so 100% your hospital is gonna let you wear them. This also will be a really cute picture to do an Instagram like while I'm in labor. And then I'm bringing one of these little eye masks here this way I can just kind of close my eyes if I happen to be laboring during the day to get a little rest I usually with Mila I took like a little one hour nap before it was time to push so having this will help me if you know the windows are really big in the hospital so if it's daylight it's kind of hard to take a little nap then I'm going to have the hospital paperwork that I need inside of here that I just need to give to them when we arrive as well as this smaller little pouch stores chargers really important you guys bring an extra long cord that's what i have here because your regular ones that come with your iphone they're like so short and you won't be able to like be on your phone while having it charged so i have that one there and a pair of headphones in case mike wants to like listen to something or watch something and i also packed a chapstick hospitals tend to be very drying on your skin so you're going to want to have that to place on your lips and I've had really bad heartburn this entire pregnancy, so I'm bringing a little Ziploc bag with a couple of tums in case I still have like that heartburn during delivery. I wanna be able to have something to soothe it. And then the only item that isn't yet in here would be the camera that I'm filming on. I'm gonna have that in there with the charger and this little like baby tripod. And the next one, this one I just have empty right now because I'm going to be using it for snacks. Mike is not allowed to leave the room as of right now while um, I'm in labor. With how bad things are going on here in New York and New Jersey, I feel like if anything, it's only going to get worse, so it's better to be more prepared. So we're going to have snacks inside of here. I didn't yet fill it because I'm going to see what exactly snacks he wants, I want, that we could store inside of this little pouch for us to have while we're there. And um, fingers crossed also that he's even able to be in the delivery room because if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've kind of been sharing. If I happen to go into birth when it's like at the peak, my doctor said things can change. Then we have this largest pouch here and this is where I have what I'm going to be using everything after I give birth to the baby. So we have a nursing bra. I'm of course going to be wearing one to the hospital and then I wanna have an extra one for afterwards that I'm gonna wanna you know, change into and feel like a little more fresh after I have the baby. Then we have a robe. This is really important you guys, whether you're breastfeeding or not, just to be able to have something covering your backside because we all know those hospital gowns don't protect you in the back. They're open, you could feel really exposed. And after giving birth, just everything feels all over the place and feeling a little more at home. I personally love robes, so I'm just bringing this one. It's really lightweight and cozy. So I'm gonna pack that one with me here. And a pajama set. I'm only bringing one set of pajamas and it is this silk one right here from Amazon, leopard pink my favorites all in one. And it's just super soft and silky, really calming and comforting to have on. And it does have the button front detailing because like I mentioned, I do breastfeed. So this makes it really easy whenever it's time to breastfeed, I'll just unbutton the front, pop down my nursing bra and I'll be good to go. So this is if I decide to change out of the hospital gown, Last time, because my labor and delivery was really intense, I stayed in the hospital gown the entire time. The only thing I put on was like my robe on top. And then for my coming home outfit, we're not allowed any visitors in the hospital. So I didn't feel like I needed to pack anything else, anything fancy, just really comfy. I have this like lounge type of long sleeve. This way I don't have to worry about like bringing a jacket. I feel like this will be good enough. It's super, super soft. I like that it is V-neck because it is once again breastfeeding friendly. It's long where it covers my backside. And then lastly, I'm bringing a pair of joggers and a pair of underwear. Last time I stayed in the mesh underwear, but what I did order that didn't come in yet is 
excuse me you guys <laughs> but what I did order that didn't come in yet that's the last thing I'm gonna add to my hospital bag is actually some depends because from other second time third time fourth time moms they told me those I'll be so much more comfortable in so to definitely bring those to the hospital for my shoes I'm bringing one pair and that is a pair of flip-flops that's what I did last time it was easiest to slip on and off and not have to worry about putting like shoes inside of my bag like I said, for delivery, I'll have the no slip socks, then I'll bring my flip flops. And it's really important right now, especially to have slip on shoes one, because you're not going to want to be bending after you have the baby, but also because something that you could be able to, when you get home, have it outside, hose it down with some antibacterial soap and water. This way you're not bringing any of those hospital germs walking in the hospital with those particular shoes back into your house. And then we have my toiletry bag. So this one right here, I have right inside, same thing, very minimal. I did not overpack anything. <laughs> we have a hairbrush. We have my face cream, some deodorant, some makeup remover wipes. And then I have my disposable toothbrush as well as toothpaste right in here. So after I leave the hospital, I'll just toss that right in the garbage. And then inside this smaller little pouch that I have in here, I have like my travel size items. So a little hairspray bottle, a little dry shampoo. I've been trying to, as soon as I get out of the shower, I let my hair air dry and just kind of curl it like this. This way when I go into labor, I don't have to worry about washing it in the hospital. I don't like to shower in the hospital, but I did bring a little mini body wash just in case I feel like doing that. And with being there just one day, I really think I'll be fine. And then this one was another must have that came recommended by other moms. And it is, hopefully the camera's focusing there for you guys. And it is the After Ease for pregnancy. This one I just found right on Amazon. You put a couple of droplets into like your water or your tea and it's supposed to really help with postpartum cramping. With Mila, I didn't really have much of postpartum cramps, but I heard the more babies you have, the more intense that can be. So I wanna avoid that, have an after birth process to be as smooth as it possibly can. So having something like this, you guys can see if you go onto Amazon, their reviews are absolutely amazing. So I'll be taking this with me to the hospital so right after I give birth, I'm sure I'm going to be thirsty. I can go ahead and have um, some of that inside of like some cold water for myself. And then the very last item that I don't have in here because I am still using is just going to be a makeup bag. So that's going to have a couple of makeup items as well as my makeup brushes. I do plan on putting some makeup on this time around. I didn't last time with Mila. I just went in not having my hair done, not having any makeup on, and it just made me feel more like blah after labor. I feel like being able to put a little bit of makeup just makes you feel a little more awake and better about yourself. I am, of course, going to want to be taking pictures with the baby because unfortunately, we can't have a photographer go to the hospital. None of the in-house photographers are allowed there at this time. They restricted all of them from coming in as well. So we're just gonna be taking pictures of our own, of the baby, of like us, just on my phone and this little camera right here to be able to have. So just to kind of freshen up myself a little bit, I'm going to have makeup. But that is everything I am bringing for the baby as well as myself to go into labor, delivery, as well as postpartum. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I feel like I did a good job of keeping it minimal and things you're actually going to use and need. Be sure to thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.